Hey everybody, meet my new friend Beaker. He's your typical dude or dude that comes to my website here at quantlabs.net or visits me on one of my social media channels. We call it Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, whatever. YouTube, whatever. Anyway, this guy, Beaker, from the Muppet fame, has got a question. He's got a question of what kind of programming skills do I need? I want to make my mom proud. All right. Well, that is a very good question. Um, you know, but, uh, ooh, cool effects, eh? Uh, ooh. Anyways, let's uh, think about this for a second. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, hmm, let me think here. Just working really hard here, as you can tell. Uh, just, uh, you know, back and forth. So, question. Uh, you know, that is a very, very good question. So, hmm, let me think here. Let me go to the web. Ooh, cool, eh? Um, anyways, this, my friends, is what we call the... Um, a LinkedIn page that have a group on there called Quant with MATLAB, C++, C Sharp, Java, VBA, and Excel. Right? These are usually the technical skills you need to be what we call next generation. So in my group, I just want to show you something here. We are now at 13 members. are pretty close. Cool. And what I want people to know is this question comes up time and time again, okay? Um, to be honest, I don't think you should be worrying about what kind of programming skills it's a standard to have. I mean, you don't become a carpenter without tools, without a hammer, uh, a screwdriver, and all that. It's very similar to this. So, you gotta ask yourself, what sort of skills do we need to have? Now, this particular uh, recruiter is the biggest, probably one of the most well-known, out of London, UK. Uh, there's Selby Jennings. Um, as you can see, we have C++ and uh, C++ and Python. So let's go into the, uh, check out this, um, uh, this one job here, the senior, it's in London. And uh, let's hope that this works. Well, hello, uh, it's me. I uh, just want to show you what we got here. Yes, the job pays really well, 60000 to uh, 100000 pounds. Now, in the mind that it is C++ is a standard. Python's another standard. So, these are questions you need to understand that uh, programming is a necessity. And I keep saying this time and time again, that... Um, Programming is a necessity type of work. Uh, for me, I spend a lot of time, uh, hand, I guess, I don't want to say hand-holding people, but there's an assumption that you have some level of programming skills. And I keep saying, the only limitation is you, right? And um, a lot of people don't like that. Sorry. Um, but uh, you got to work hard to get places, so... Uh, I don't know what more to say, um, but uh, yeah, programming is a necessity to do in this. And uh, my membership pretty well cuts out a lot of time for that. So in less than 24 hours, doing our first seminar work ser workshop series uh, on data collection and all that. With all the tools we got, we cut down about, at least for me, it cut, well, cut down for you three years of time. So there you go. Uh, what kind of programming skills do you need? Uh, .NET and Smat Lab will get you started, and uh, that's all you need to uh, know about. So other than that, I would highly encourage you to join the membership. I'll leave a link to where to go and all that, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Have a good day. All right, over and out.